was a fire job. It was burnt down to the foundation. And I bought the lot, you know, as is with the foundation. And I built the house on top of that. It's an old 60s ranch, you know, contractor built. I actually did the floor plan when I was in high school, but it was built 70s standards, right? 60s standards. But I said, you know, it's a, it's a point where when you grab it like this and move it, it's a two by four. Like, if you put a two by four on that and try to do that, it wouldn't work. Right. And they didn't get it. They didn't get it. So for psychological sake, I let them put that up there so they feel much better. Because <laughs> these, these, that guy and this guy are pretty heavy. Three guys lifting it is, is a lot. Luckily, the house is mostly a north, is on the north-south axis and the east-west axis. It's a little bit tilted um, to the southeast. So that's, you know, do, very doable for a nice solar orientation on the on the south side unfortunately <laughs> the, the view is the north side that's where all my glasses so it's just not something you would normally do in a passive house so open up your north side to a lot of glass you can't just not pay attention to the view of the lake and we're just boring out these holes because they require large screws, and as you can see that the head is very large, so the holes of the actual window are very small. So we bore them out, that way we can countersink some of it. Not all of it, but some of it. Even, the, even these two big ones that we put in today, we handed those through, actually, with just two cups on them. And then they can hand it in, and then the person on the inside can be able to take off and take that bottom. Two by um, We have cups, we have three cups. Each and seven, eight, two, two and a quarter. That definitely can't, that's not even close. Well, that level's plunk. His level's plumb. That's the reason it's just got to go over a hair more on top. Hey, where's Brian? Yeah. Keep your head up over around here to look at this level. <laughs> He's tired of you calling him a liar. I like it. I don't like the carpenter's opening. Well, that's not us. Right. Oh, she just moved. I like the numbers in between. Five, five, six, five foot eight. Six foot tall, five foot eight wide. Yes, still towards us. us. Are you grabbing that one? I got a cup. Okay. I can switch off. Okay. And I got the side of the window, it's not going to tilt. Okay. All right, you I'm off the cuff. Uh, wait, wait. More towards the door, more towards the entryway door. Bottoms in. Who's guys? Your, yours. How much? In the middle. Uh, uh. How much? <laughs> Go up a sixteenth for now. Let's see. It looks like this frame's got a little bow in it. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm good from here. I'm good from handle to handle, but I'm open on the end, and I'm open on the end. Did you lift it, B? Yeah, I'm lifting it. All right, good, right there. This one's not as big that I just need to move it a hair, but I don't want to move the bottom. Okay. All right, we got to... So put more than... So move, put more than one in, maybe. You want me to put two? There you go. Let me I would, if you're going to try to rack it slightly. All right, when we, when we looked at the insulation, the old John's Band School insulation, we found mold between the paper and the aluminum foil was growing. So there was moisture, and I guess the old technology was trapping moisture in that paper, and all the pink stuff was all black.
So this is a this is the mock-up that we made of what the exterior wall is. This is our exterior sheeting that's on there now, just the regular half-inch plywood on the framing. And we basically built this just to see if we were going to split the furring strips that are going to go on here. And we, we tried several different things and we were splitting some of it, so this ended up working out pretty good. Um, this is just a regular piece of three-quarter um, fur and spruce works as well. So we got two-inch layer polyiso foil-faced, a one-and-a-half-inch layer polyiso, and a three-quarter inch furring strip. So you can't see it here, but the two-inch layer is kind of tacked in place with a three-inch roofing nail. And ideally it should have been a two-and-a-half inch, so we don't penetrate more than itself. And that's just like three or four nails just to hold it in place until we get the second layer on and those are a little bit more robust a five inch screw with a uh, roofing washer it's basically a roofing scenario that you, they use these for holding down insulation and again we don't want to make too many penetrations and create all the point therms so we try to limit it to maybe four or six screws per, per sheet just to tighten it up and hold it in place and the, the reason we have two layers is to stagger the seams pretty pretty common approach to putting up rigid and then finally this is a six inch screw that goes through furring strips so this gets paid dirt all the way back to the stud i've, I've been building these bucks designing them out of wood and then cladding them with insulation to take the third to run the continuous and um, always an issue getting the having it structural getting your flange so we were we were having to deal with straps extension straps on the on the window jams to secure it so that we had that basically what the thermal bridge of the thermal bug does so I don't know, I don't remember how I came across this product. Um, but as soon as I saw it, I knew that that solved all those issues. It made it really easy to put the face flange, screw it in, traditional way of installing your windows. So. To pick up the frame, because as soon as you turn them in there, then it jumps up and then back down, and that part in there is foam. Yep. Yeah. So... Now that the we remember that the foam's in there, should should we pick up this this part in the back metal part? That's why I've been trying to use the flat ones. You know what I mean? Because no, my, you gotta have them sticking in the inside a little bit. That way, you know you're catching that lip. Yeah. Because you gotta pull the outside of the windows or the inside of the windows. I see. What, you, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's so unusual. Is the window reading level now? You're the only one holding it, Jeff. Oh no, they got two hands on there. You want to get in the video, puppy dog? Actually, what Lorenzo's the foreman. What are, you, what are you reading, guys? Fred's levels are off just a hair from each other. Yeah. His, his says that different could, than ours does. That could go down just a hair. Yeah, that could, this side could come down a hair. Size. You know what? You probably can simply by pulling down in the window. I had two brothers. And the three of us were Don't worry homes. about the outside, do the center. And we built homes in Staten Island yeah. and in Brooklyn. That's years ago. At that time, we had a contractor for brick and a contractor for foundations and one for sheetrock and his go. We weren't particular what, what went through. Every house was up for sale. And they all came out pretty good. Well, fourteen thousand. Uh, Jan, hang on a second. Sixteen nine nine. Huh? And now what are they worth? About four hundred thousand. Unbelievable. How's that? The roof is in the way. Or we need. Uh... We don't want to put this piece on first. No, we don't. We, we're not flashing this at all, right here. If you want to take the bottom of this to. To your insulation, you got your insulation up. Right. I'm saying, take a piece of tape, start right about there, 
bring it back the half inch and leave it hang down over your face. That way any moisture that comes down, it's not going back in between your insulation and going back, it's staying on the outside face of your insulation. Don't ever tape over that nail plant at the bottom. Okay. You know, should have an inch on the bottom. Right. Can so. you hand me that other strip? I don't know. Here you go. The question is, what will this adhesive look like in a hundred years? Yeah. Now that's your your recommendation to use with the thermal box? I recommend whatever WRB system you're using, you use their tape. Okay. You know, everything sticks to thermal box. R everything, okay. So So not only do we got not only do we got the, the tape. It's even caulked. The buck is caulked to the, yes. to the house. Yes. These areas that you left where we skip sealed this right. can drain right. to your outside surface. That kind of made it a little more, a little more hands on. Does that change the way you design houses at all by being? No, no. no. Actually, I designed this less because I knew I was going to be here in the field taking care of stuff and not so sure that's a good idea, but it kind of kind of made me have to be here more. The, the, the drawings for a client would be much more detailed. So if it here, okay, then you want to take your four inches down and you want to come out past that two inches. That way any water that comes down is not going to hit that. And then you go across your head with that. So that but you you'll you, yeah you'll need a you'll need a wider tape for this so. Well, I this have is wider. only four inch tape. I have wider. So you're gonna need because I want to cover the whole thing right. and then so because you but, need to get it back to the wall. But I could this can cover the whole thing. So do yeah. I really have to go back to the wall? Or? You know, it's, it's stuck on there. Yeah, no, you don't have to. Right? Right. Yeah, it's two and a half. Yeah, eight inch will work. Yep. Because you want to go, you want to go put that one surface here. Yeah. Now, would you put a, would you put a bead of sealant? If you don't have any of these on, I would. All right, so I got to get some eight inch to go over top of this. In the meantime, we should at least run a bead of sealant across the top of that. Yeah. Yeah. And jumped on the windows. Because I want to get this get close. Getting when close it, in when it it's rains cold, and it's yeah. cold here, and yeah. the, the wind blows off the off lake, the, lake yeah. the, the house gets wet. Even though we're, you know, we're basically sealed up on the roof and everything. 